On January 16th, it was too cold for Eastmont students to go outside for recess. For kids at Cascade Elementary School, they'd need to go outside anyway if they're going to the library or cafeteria. The school was built in a series of buildings and every classroom has an exterior door that leads to the outside. Last Tuesday, when NCW Life was granted access to the four elementary schools named in the 2024 Eastmont School Construction Bond, students around the district were not escaping the cold once they were back inside. My classroom is currently at 58 degrees, which is too cold for students. And so when we're getting lined up to go to specialists and everything, you think of that exterior door that has to be opened up to the four degree weather outside. And that's just making it even colder. Um, the kids are cold in class right now, and so we're bundled up and wearing our coats all day, but um, it'd be nice to be in a building where when it does get cold, um, the system can keep up and keep our kids warm. And then the same thing happens uh, in the spring. It gets very uh, hot in our classrooms, and again, that causes a challenge for learning and teaching. Classroom doors remain locked at all times. When students are coming and going throughout the day, it becomes a disruption to the class with a lot of up and down happening to let them back in. There are several doors in each class, and the teachers describe their uneasy feeling knowing there are so many entrances to the classrooms. If someone were to get in one door, they have access to the entire pod. So uh, when we do drills and things, we've had staff meeting after staff meeting trying to problem solve um, to keep kids safe. If it were real, what would we do? Um, but all of the doors, if one is unlocked, then they gain access to the entire pod, which is unnerving. Additional challenges to the outdoor hallways include the uneven walkway, which poses extra challenges for students with physical disabilities. Two years ago, I had uh, two kids in wheelchairs. And when you think about just going to PE or to library or to lunch, they would go out and it was really challenging to get the wheelchairs over um, any of it on a regular day, but then when it snowed, it was would delay all of the time, at least five minutes for every single transition throughout the day. So that's a huge challenge for kiddos that have wheelchairs or crutches or anything, whether it's temporary or permanent. The issues of heating, cooling, and safety are concerns felt around the four schools. The current layout of Rock Island Elementary's entrance is another example. We do only allow our parents and our students to enter through the main building, but when you first walk in, you can go two different directions in the hallway instead of direct line to the office. I think it's going to be extremely important for us to really lock that down so that when we let people into our building that they only can go to the office first before going into our building. Because um, right now, it's just a huge safety concern. You yeah. don't want to expect the unexpected, but you do. You want to prepare for anything, and right now you you can't. Um, there's just no, they can come get buzzed in, and then they can go any direction. So for me, that's a huge safety concern as a teacher and as a parent with kids in the school. Before safety measures required outside leading doors to remain shut during the school day, teachers at Rock Island would leave them open to get better air circulation. That was also sometimes how they would handle the odor of their drainage system. You can definitely smell that when you're going down the hall sometimes. Um, that's not a good smell. It does fill the hallways, the classrooms, to the point where you're trying to close the doors. And um, again, you get you want to open your outside doors, but we don't. our windows don't open. So if we could, in the newer side of the building, we have the windows that you can just slide open. But here, it would just be our doors, which comes back to that safety concern. This is a good school. And just because we have peeling tile on our floors doesn't mean we're not a great school. And we are a really great school.